this is my bathroom. The sun is shining bright, guys. I just love it. Um, where do we start? Okay, start from this philodendron melanocrysum. Uh, I finally found this um, reusable tapes. Oops, on Tokopedia. I like the size because this is a perfectly small, just to really like it. And yeah, she has been growing quite cute leaves actually. This is like um, she has a long stems in between but that's okay and this guy philodendron lupinum i will have to figure out how to extend this pole as you can see this is the original pole that came with that and then it's already growing beyond the second pole already i uh, my plan is actually just to lean over so it's going to be growing down you know what I mean but the stems of lupinums are very fragile so it's very easy to break so I don't know yeah but growing growth leaf but then see it's healthy so okay What's next? This Monstera Stanleyana. Finally, after so many months, she put on a lot of leaves in a short period of time. And now she's going beyond the pool and she's choose to leaning towards the sunlight and just pass its pool. Someone on Instagram asked me to propagate it but I don't think I already for now so I'm just going to leave it like this maybe I'll change the pole so it can support this part right here we'll see actually a lot of you guys are asking about this spider-man monstera which is a amidrium medium green honestly I just let it be almost uh, kind of neglected and it's just been wearing fine she needs a little bit more water because look she's a bit floppy but it's actually I just treat it like a polytox nothing really special also partially because I think this is a native to some parts of Indonesia like Borneo so that's why it is kind of easier to take care of here so if you are in uni in the in the US or some other countries it's probably a bit different and a little bit difficult I'm not sure okay let's move on so this girl my first oh wait let's okay so this girl the Syngonium photophilum albo ferigata it's earning her spot back inside because she suffered from fucking bad fungus gnats infestation it was just uh, ridiculous so I put her outside for a few months and now she's been here for more than a week and Looks like she's happier, but the soil is really, huh, it's just part like, yeah, the soil was a little bit wet because the other night the rain falls and I didn't know, obviously it was in the middle of the night and I just realized the next the morning after and it's too wet, but the rest of the plants are okay, but this guy is a bit too wet, so I have to keep an eye on this if it's not necessary i'll just leave it like this for now when it's giving me a signs like yellowing leaf rapidly then i know i have to change uh report it but if it doesn't 
and stay cool like this and pretty. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Oh well, these guys need to be potted because she is giving me sign like a kind of like a root drop because parts of the leaves are all yellowing. Maybe it's just old. I don't know. But one thing for sure, I need to make time to repot it. Yeah, she's fine. And this gorgeous. A, this is like a plant or honestly okay I'm just gonna keep it short okay so this is my monster acuminata and she's been growing like really good okay I mean look at that it's beyond its pole already I need to find a proper one for this honestly the more plants you have the more homework needs to be done so you gotta keep in mind guys just go with your own speed never do not care about the numbers okay this pretty princess my second one and that guy see these new pups of pastazano that's also new laid once it gets to the right environment and she loves it, she's gonna grow faster. This guy is so cool. Oh, she is always dry, I need to water this. She's not doing that, this raven, it's not doing that much. When it's dry, I, I gotta report it. She probably has some sort of nutrient deficiency because the soils is probably old. Okay, looking not so hot. Since she moved here, she just been like um, not having it. That guy. Okay. Velvet. She's growing back to life, as you can see. Let me show you a little bit. See? What a cutie. So these are five men. I didn't really expect that. Come back from dormancy. I determined myself I'm not gonna get a new one. I'm just gonna appreciate and take care of this until it's ready to put out a new leaf when it's if it died then I can have excuse to myself to buy a new one but yeah I just trying to only buy the things that I really really want because then I cannot unconsciously neglect them if I don't really love them you know so you know yourself I mean I know myself okay this guy started to know all this is the gear I started to do this so I have to move it here it was in the backyard and after a year long these put up two babies and this also put one baby so I need to have a greenhouse I want to have a like just looking for a simple greenhouse like Akia greenhouse but it was sold out and it was pricey anyways but I was thinking to um, made it custom we'll see I think custom will be better because then I can design myself and um, made it as I how I want it to be done like the height and stuff okay Sometimes when I shower here, it felt like I shower in the jungle, which is 
exactly the feelings I want to have. The only downside having an open rooftop is that when it's rain and you don't know, it can get floated over here, you know, but you can never have perfect things, can you? Alright, now let's move on. What are you doing? Hey, princess. Quick update on this one. She is throwing well. 